teach our people the Bible, did we not? Yes, right. All right, so we can't teach our people the Bible without showing our people what they're doing wrong. That's, right. That's the only way that we can do that, sis. All right, we're not here to destroy you. We're here to teach the Bible, all right? Listen, what's your name, sister? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Don't touch the microphone. What's your name? What? All right, read what you got. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Yeah. Cry aloud. What's the Bible say? Cry aloud. That means we got to teach loud. Why? So that everybody can hear us, right? Come on. Spare not and lift up. You know what spare not means? That means don't spare nobody feelings. All right. All right? We're going to tell you exactly what you're doing wrong so you can fix it. All right? So you cannot feel, all right, the judgment that's going to come from God for breaking his commandments. All right? Hold this for me. Read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people. So we got to show our people what? What do we have to show our people today? All right? If you knew this already, then we wouldn't have to teach you. All right? The reason we got to teach you is because you don't know you're in sin. You don't know God hates that you dress like a harlot. You don't, you don't understand that. You don't believe that. You understand? So we got to show it to you. Come on. And show my people. The transgression. God say, show his people. What's your nationality, sis? Black, Hispanic, Native American. All right, so you come from the tribe of Judah. You're not black, all right? The your oppressors, the ones that brought you on slave ships, all right? The ones that took your family from you. You understand? The ones that raped, murdered, and robbed, all right? Your whole uh, family, your heritage stripped it from you, your people, all of that. You understand? They called you Negroes, sis. They called you black. That's not who you are today. All right, you're an Israelite. You're from the tribe of Judah. You understand? See, now you're oppressors. Y'all can party together, but, but she not living in the ghetto. She going, she going home, you understand? And she's safe in her neighborhood. You understand? She's a prize to any, to any people. You understand? Any nation today can bring a white girl home, and it's like a blessing to their whole family, a blessing to their whole culture. Right? But if you bring a black woman home, if a white man bring a black woman home, how you think? That family feels. That white family feels. You think they feel blessed? And they want to go home? You understand? No, they don't. So it's a big difference between uh, uh, a young black woman today, so called black woman, and a young white woman today. But we join each other hand in hand. Like we the same. We not the same. We not the same, sis. Come on. And show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob. So we got to show the Israelites their sins, all right? Sister, you said you was black. You said you were Israelite. You said you from the tribe of Judah. So we got to show you your sins. First Timothy chapter 2. Read that again for the sister. How should our sisters dress today? How should they dress today? Should we be out here showing all the cheeks, showing all your, your, your precious things? Is that how we should be out here today? Hey, sisters, I got a question for you. Can y'all hear me today? Do you think you're going to get you a husband dressed like a harlot? I got a question for y'all. Hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a question for y'all. Do you think you're going to get a husband? I'm talking about a man that's going to take care of you, that's going to provide for you, that's going to protect you. You understand? Do you think you're going to get that type of man dressed like a harlot? Or are you going to get a nigga? Are you going to get a man that's going to have sex with you and then leave you? Is he going to take care of the child he make with you? Or is he going to take you to the abortion clinic to get rid of the baby? Which one is he going to do? What you going to get dressed like a harlot? Tell me, which one of y'all going to pick up a real man dressed like a harlot? What are you even saving for him? What are y'all talking about? Because you ain't already gave everybody else. All right, real man not going to want that. Everybody already seen it. You, he, everybody probably already touched it. To be honest with you, all right? So you got to clean yourself up. We are here to clean our communities up, all right? We're here to clean our communities up. Read it again. Show our people what? Show our people their sins in the house of Jacob, their transgression. I'm Kyle. What's your name, brother? Your name is Spaz? Spaz, nice to meet you. We are here to show our people their transgressions. Because a lot of our people, and by our people I mean the Israelites, all right? By our people, I mean the Israelites. A lot of our people are in sin today, all right? And we got to show our people God's laws right. so that they can repent from their sins and keep God's laws. Right. You say, why are we talking about what? Ask your question. Why are we talking about the woman? Right? What? You asking, why are we talking about the woman? Yeah. What's wrong with that? All right, we're going to show you, Spaz, right? 
Read what you got. First Timothy's. Listen good. Come on. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. You believe in the Bible, right? You believe in the Bible, right? Maybe you skipped over this scripture, all right? Maybe you skipped over it. We're going to read it for you today. Your question was, why are you out here telling the sisters not to wear bikinis? Why are you out here telling the sisters to put a dress on? Why are you telling them to clothe themselves? Why can't the sisters walk around naked? Why won't we let them walk around naked out here with our boys, with our young men, all right? With grown men, with pedophiles. That's right. Why won't we let our sisters walk naked out here? That was the question you asked, right? Come on. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in murderous apparel. Because the Bible says that a woman must clothe herself and dress modestly. The Bible said that. But you know what happened? Our parents didn't teach us these things. All right? You know, we had, you know what children are going to do? They're always going to whine and cry for whatever it is they want. All right? And you know what happened? Our parents spoiled us. And you know what you know what came with them spoiling us? Us becoming destroyed. So now we falling so far away from our culture and our heritage and the things that God gave us today, all right, that we just follow after anything. All right, we envy our oppressors. You know how our, our women envy our oppressors today? All right? They take that beautiful hair that the Lord gave them, and what do they do with it? They put a perm in it. You know what I'm talking about. And then what color do they dye it? Blonde. You know what I'm talking about? Who got blonde hair? the so-called white women today that's envying your oppressor all right so we're teaching our women not to do that all right all right the original hoe was not the black woman you understand that ain't the original hoe the original hoe was not the black woman all right but now when you think of hoes and harlots all right and, and bad girls all right who you think of you think of the chinese woman no you think of the African woman, the Egyptian? No. You think of the black woman. That's what you think of today. We're trying to change that. You understand? We're trying to change that about our sisters. And you got brothers walking up, and they mad. Why you think brothers mad? Because they want some cheeks tonight. That's why they mad. That's why they mad. We changing all of that for y'all. Y'all should, y'all should be happy we out here right now. You understand? Y'all should be happy we out here right now. But you know what the Bible says? We're going to read it for you. Come on. In like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel. That means cover yourself, sister. You can't come out here with Daisy Dukes on. You can't come out here with a G-string on. You can't come out here with your nipples out. You can't do that. That's not modest apparel, sisters. All right? And that's not going to attract a husband. It's going to attract a one-night stand. Haven't you had enough of them? Have you had enough one night stands? Bring it out. Come on, you're supposed to be a virgin when you get married. That's right. That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to, the only man supposed to touch you is your husband. That's right. You think that's gonna happen if you dress out here like a like a Playboy model? You think that's gonna that's, that's what you're gonna get a husband? A God fearing man? No, you're not gonna get that. Come on. With shame faced it. With what? Shame faced it. That means you can't be a ball in a man's face. But that's what our sisters do today. Our sisters want to be all up in men's faces today. Our sisters not shame, but that, 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 I'm going to answer your question, brother. Don't walk away. Let me finish my point, all right? And I'm going to answer your question. Right now, I'm talking about the sisters that's dressed in modest. Just let me finish my point. I'm going to answer your question. Is that fair? Can you do that for me, sir? All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.